is the only risk Love is life Searching for remedy to heal my heart Darkness all around me It's the night Hoping for a miracle To survive I see the jungle I feel a tumble Every time I look at you I see the star Victim of circumstance Where's your stance To leave or to die, then take your chance Running in the wilderness, no place to hide Love and the rest of mine, I hope to find Hey, should I let go? Hey, should I go slow? Some kind of matrix with my mind Hey, I will always love you I will always be with you No matter what my heart will be for Hey, it's a fire burning Lies and wait, watch your back Scheming to take away all you have Trick you, confuse you, lies so white Stop me from loving you and break your heart I see the jungle, I feel the tumble Every time I look at you, I see the stars Love is a mystery, love is blind Love goes to whomever if you do believe, you will find that love lies away in your heart Hey, should I let go? Hey, should I go slow? Surely I'll never stop you blow my mind Hey, I will always love you Hey, I will always be with Hey, no matter what my heart will be for Hey, it's a fire burning day You will put us both in trouble, you know. You will. But we're already in trouble. You see, as we speak, your husband is digging into my profile. And I have no doubts very soon my cover will get busted. Leave now, Ikenna. Leave! Or we'll hand you over to the securities right away. Really? So tell me, my dear, how long can you stay without my touch? Tell me. You keep doing this to me again. But I pray that one day I will get the strength to break free from your chance. Why don't you try that right now, my dear? Have you seen him? Who? Your new circle the age. Oh, he? Yes, he. He must be somewhere around. I don't know. He must be somewhere around. You look nervous. Keep him looking nervous. And that boy, he looks suspicious. Vivian, be very careful. I see you with my eagle eyes. You know, I can't afford it. We are first class citizens in this state. And you know how influential and powerful I am in this state. So I will not take any scandal. I say it again. Vivian, be very, very careful. Otherwise, <laughs> you will know the chance of being the first lady in the state. 
Because very soon I will be the governor of the state. Comport yourself. Chief. Be very, very careful. I don't understand what, what you're saying. What are you insinuating? Anyway, I will get him replaced if you're not comfortable uh, with his presence around me. Because I won't lose the chance of becoming the governor's wife. Vivian. I will replace him. I hear things. I hear things. That is why I say be very careful. And again, I smell rat in that his presence, if possible. Do I with it? Hmm? It's okay, Chief. away from this place. My dear, you have little time. So I'll give you some space to clear me off this mess. Just leave. Leave now. going somewhere or you're traveling or something? Oh, no. I'm here for the weekend. My mother and my father, they went to Budokachi to have the weekend, so I came here to decide to spend mine with you. Why didn't you go with them? Am I not welcome? No, darling friend. You are not welcomed. For Christ's sake, Aisha, what, what are you thinking? This is the 21st century. You didn't just barge in people. That's why we have mobile phones. You call. Listen to me. I have too much on my plate already. I don't need you to come here and just aggravate everything for me. So just go back to your father's house. I am so surprised at your naivety. Why do you think I'm here? Spend the weekend with you rather than with my family at the Obudu Ranch. Don't you think that I have so much fun there? I'm here because I'm watching out for you. I have your back. And I want to stop you from making any more silly mistake with that scumbag. Now you listen to me. This is my father's house. I decide who stays and who goes. Okay. So right now, I think you should just start going. Well, this is my friend's house and my dad's friend's house. So I stay. So we're going to tell your mother you invited me over. What? Are you sick? I am not sick. Hi, Aisha. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma'am. And your mother? She's very well. She sends her love to you. Oh, oh my. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm staying over for the weekend. She invited me. You're welcome anytime, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Just keep me there. Bye. Aisha. Aisha, come back. Aisha, come back. What are you doing lazing about the newspaper? I need hot water for tea. I need to take my coffee. Abigail is doing the serving this morning. I'm off to leave me. I don't care. I want you to serve me. Then you'll have to go boil the water yourself. How dare you ignore me? Do you know I'm a special guest in this house? And you should treat me like one? Do you know? You know you arouse me when you get
he wants the meaning of this. Can you imagine that boy refusing to make hot stuff in my tea? So you went into his room dressed like this? Like how, Zainab? Wait, are you suspecting that I went in there to seduce your boyfriend? Shut up! Shut up. For crazy, what is wrong with you? There are people in the house, they may hear I you. don't care, let them hear! That stubborn, arrogant son of a bitch, someone needs to put him in his place, okay? And I'm gonna do it. Just go back. What is your problem? Can you just keep quiet for once? There are people living in the house. My parents, okay? Ike! Aisha! Aisha! <laughs> Um, next Saturday is going to be a very special day in this house. It's my husband's birthday. And so we are going to have a few special guests for the occasion. Uh, sir, I guess it's not out of my place to say happy birthday, sir. Oh, thank you. But I really don't understand all this fuss about the celebration. It was my daughter and uh, my wife's idea. Thank you once again. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Look, 60 years sojourn on earth is no main feat. I insist we celebrate it this time around. Oh, yes. honey, 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 I am not complaining. Right? Yes, I'll leave the entire planning of the celebration in the hands of you and your daughter, Zainab. Good, that's how it's supposed to be. And, um, Ike. Madam. I trust the judgment will be able to have some form of special dishes and um, let me know anything that you need and get the list over to me. We'll do some. And, and um, hold on. Don't worry about all the arrangements, okay? I'll take care of them. All right? All right, madam. You may go now. Yes, madam. All right. And, uh, take sir. Get me a cup of coffee. We'll do that, sir. Um, darling, why are you waiting for that coffee? Let's talk about that holiday. You owe me. Oh, yes, I owe you one. Mm -hmm. I can't keep fighting forever, you know. Listen, I know nothing, okay? And stop sneaking up on me. Look. I'm not asking for a commitment. All I'm asking is for sex. Just one time. And if we do it, then we like it. We both will know how to do I heard everything. You slimy. Hypocritical bitch. I knew you were Look, at least I did not cut across to anybody like a saint or a virgin. And what is wrong in wanting a piece of the erotic pleasure that you denied me for? Or that you tried to corner all to yourself? You, you are such a scumbag. You are dirty, despicable, filthy. You are such a dirty pig. That's what you are. A swine. You exude so much filth. Yet you have the effrontery. You have the temerity, the guts to throw dirt at me. You know what? We are in this filthy pit together. Guess what? If we are to be placed on a stain scale, I would come out the cleanest. Why? Because I did not deny or hide my feelings. But you, you would rather deny and hide your feelings because I know that you want a piece of body again and again and again. Now stop it! Enough of your blabbing! Let me tell you something. I have no other type of feelings whatsoever for him. So get that into your lousy skull. 
I also know you wouldn't like it if the general and his wife catch you in this room. You know what? I want you out of this house this night. Whatever was left of our friendship is done. How dare you throw me out? Watch me. Biatch. You know what? There's nothing to hide anymore. He knows. Just do it. Please leave. Ago. Hmm. Oh, you just arrived and you immediately want to peep at your jewel. <laughs> that's great, that's great. And uh, how are the rigs? We are coping with the challenges. Okay. At least they can do without me for three weeks because I'm on my annual leave. Oh. Hmm. You've come just in time to attend your father in law's birthday party this weekend. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday in advance, sir. Oh, thank you, my boy. Thank Hi, you. sweetie. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Missed you. Me too. Anyway, uh, we must leave you to play your catch up. All right? Mm -hmm. See you. Uh, I'll be with you later. Okay. Bye. Have a Bye, nice Daddy. time. Bye. Bye, Daddy. You don't seem excited to see me. Come on, how could you say that? Of course I am excited. How do you want me to show it? Yeah, I got something for you. How was work, first of all? Yeah, doing good. Yeah, I don't know what you Hi. God, you look so gorgeous. You too. <laughs> What's in your friend? Well, I guess that she's trying to look beautiful for you. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Um, only that, um, I would hate to see you get disappointed. You know what I mean? Virginity is a very hard thing to maintain. You know? What are you trying to insinuate? Nothing. Um, I didn't really mean anything. I just wouldn't want to see a wool pulled over your eyes. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. Hi. Oh. Okay. I'll leave you to love birds to have fun. Nice to meet you again. Freshen up a little bit, you know, just take a shower and, you know?
Would you like food or snacks or something? <clears throat> I see you're new here. My name is Ekene Ohamba, the son of the deputy governor. May I feel that knife? I'm sorry, there are certain things I keep personal and this happens to be one of them. Yeah, we certainly share something in common there. There are some things I also keep strictly personal. Especially that which concerns my heart. and your excellency. Um, I was on my way.
was that girl? Aisha, Zainab's friend. I don't like her. I can tell she has the instinct of a hawk. Mom! She just dropped by to say hi. It's not convenient. Um, you know tomorrow is daddy's party. I'm helping mom put some things together. Alright, then I'll come over. Uh, no, 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 look. It's not necessary. It's not convenient, like I said. Um, why don't we see tomorrow at the party? Zainab, I want us to see now. There will be lots of distractions tomorrow. <sighs> there will be other days after tomorrow. Zainab. I said no. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really have to go. I'm Mom just called me, you know, and I need to go help her do some things. I'll talk to you later, please. is of utmost importance. Well, that's the more reason I said it should wait. Just take a look. The atmosphere is not conducive enough for such serious discussion. Zainab, you've been elusive towards me since I came back and I need to know why. <laughs> of course, that's just in your imagination. Don't, please don't with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay? I'm going back to that dance hall to meet the other people. Listen. Whatever it is can wait. No. I need it cleared right now. Zena. Are you still a virgin? What kind of question is that? I need proof. Let's go to you. Stop it! Let's go with you, stop it! Let's go to you. For Christ's sake, have you forgot? Look, we had an understanding. An understanding that said that only after we're legally married shall I give you my virginity. And whether you like it or not, you wait for that time or you forget it. Excuse me. Just <laughs> 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 
In fact, uh, today is my very special day, being my birthday. We have a lot to drink and uh, we have a lot to eat too. So please, uh, take merry on my behalf.
Mais moi Et ces trucs Your Excellency, sir. This is obviously the murder weapon. He got away using the General Dota machine. <gasps> yes, General. But not to worry. My men are already after him. And I know in due time we'll catch up with him. I'm very sure of that. What? Hey! You mean lost him? What the hell? Huh? I'm shocked at your incompetence! How dare you? You dare the life of my only daughter! Endanger her life in the hands of a dangerous killer! This is unpardonable. Mike, this is unpardonable. And your claim to be my secretary? This is a mystery that must be unraveled. Yes, it must be unraveled. How one ordinary man could so shamefully rattle the entire security network of the deputy governor is a mystery that must be unraveled. Your Excellency, sir, he is not ordinary. He's actually one of us, SSS. Shut up! Shut up! That's impossible. Could it be one of you? That lunatic works here! He works here! Your Excellency, he was still our Excellency security aide until last week. Who? Who? He was one of my servants in this house! One of the best groups we ever had! He was probably working undercover, General, sir. But I assure you, I give you my word, we'll definitely get to the bottom of this. Bottom of what? Me, bottom of what? Oh, Mike! You allow a lunatic to get away with my only daughter, and you're standing here telling me get to the bottom of what? Oh, my God! My God! God help you if she doesn't get murdered. But if she gets murdered, you will know me better. Calm down, sir. Calm down, General. He can't get far with her. I assure you. We'll get her back. I've already activated the dragnet all across the country. So I'm very certain that we'll get him, sir. Mike. Get out! Get out of this place! Just stop! Stop it! Okay, just... What? Look! I can't move any further, all right? Somebody once told me that she has the strength to go another 10,000 miles. Now, where has all the strength gone? What is it? What do you want? You want to kill me like you killed my Look, friend? I didn't kill your friend, okay? I did not. You lie? You dare to lie about it? For Christ's sake, you told me in exact words that you were going to deal with her. And that is exactly what you did. Listen, I did not kill your friend. Other person has a jackknife except you. I did not kill your friend. Do you understand me? I did not. It's all right. Okay? You have ten minutes. Do you understand me? Ten minutes to relax and rest. Because we're going to have a very long walk in the dark. In this forest. Oh my God. Why don't you just kill me? Just kill me and just... God, how do I even allow my emotions to deceive me? My heart keeps telling me that you are nothing but a dangerous beast. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't... Oh. I don't even think you need the rest. Let's go. Please. Move. Oh my God. Not yet, generals. But we are intensifying our efforts. Oh. Good day, General, sir. Major, right on time. Mike, General, Major Giang. Major Giang is relieving you and your boys. Oh, yes. 
He is taking over the hand for my daughter and her abductor. General, sir, that may not be possible. The crime in question was committed within the compromising perimeter around the deputy governor. And that makes it a state security affair. His Excellency and the members of his family could have been the prime target. The incident happened in my house. We're talking about my daughter here. My only daughter. She was kidnapped. Not the deputy governor or any member of his family. General, sir. That doesn't still take away the... Hey! There is nothing to debate here. Nothing. You have failed and you must accept it. Now, I have decided to take over the hunt. My own way, with my own men. Is that clear? Now, wait. Your orders are shoot and kill attacks. Yes, sir. General, call out the hands. Director Essences wants to start. Hello? Oh, General, we appreciate your deep concern for your daughter's safety, but this is strictly a state security affair. Caller, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. You should be glad that I'm saving your face from a potential national embarrassment, Kola. I suggest you withdraw all your boys and work on overhauling the entire protocol of the deputy governor. That is enough work to keep you busy. The insult is well noted. But it might also interest you to know that the boy in question is a jailbreaker on the run. And it is to my understanding that he, you are harboring him. That makes you an accomplice. Huh. Is that a threat? Oh, no, no, no. It's not a threat. I'm only looking for a common ground for compromise. Now, I will allow your military boys to be part of the hunt. But they must be answerable to me. I want that boy alive. He is of special interest to the SSS. All right. All right. That's a fair compromise. Enough for me. All right then, General. I have work to do. Sir? Yes, sir. I will do just that. Okay, sir. Major, my orders are shoot to kill, and that without hesitation. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What were you expecting? Grilled chicken? Well spiced? You're such a fool. What are you thinking? You think you can get away with this? Now let me assure you, my father will hunt you down, no matter what it takes. That is a promise. You'll have to find me first. I'm sure you're keeping me here for some bargaining chip or something. You know why I like you? You're very smart.
I doubt it. Come with me. Yes, sir. Welcome to my house, Miss Highglass. What? This? You mean you live here in this middle of nowhere all by yourself? At least I wouldn't be staying all by myself for some time because I have you as my guest. No, no. no. You, you seriously don't intend to keep me here? You don't, right? Of course I do in this middle of nowhere. You see, this is my perfect hideout. The next village is 12 hours walk from here and no one can find me here. I chose this location out of sheer survival instincts. But, I mean, you, you, you can't hide away here forever. At least I have enough time to make contacts to get out of this country and then come back to finish my unfinished business and clear my name. Just what are you? I mean, who the hell are you? Ike Naibuka. Real name's Richard Amadi. An outlaw. Broke out of jail three months ago. Oh. Listen, Miss High Class. I don't intend hurting you. When it's convenient, I'll take you somewhere safe and free you. But still, I tell you this. I will not be held responsible if you try to endanger your life by running away. You sleep well, Miss Highclass. Damn you. The mosquitoes here have claws like chisel. It's not my fault, don't blame me. If you hadn't blown the whistle on me, you'd have still been on your cozy, luxurious bed, cuddling your pillow. I, I need to take a shower or something. I mean, wash off. Of course, you do know water here is a luxury. The nearest stream is two hours' walk. What? 
Why do you want to do this to me? What, what, what do you expect? I should stay here all sticky and messy? Hey, hey. Behind the tent, I have some water left. And um, there are snakes there. Oh my god. Don't expect me to escort you. I've learned not to escort ladies no more. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Could this by any chance be the water you said you had behind the tent? Yes. What am I supposed to do with this? And what do you need water for? To have a bath, duh. Of course, you know what to do. Wash your vital parts. You know where. Oh, God. And what are you doing? We're having bush meat and jello fries. From where? I thought you said there was no single food in the house. I walk with faith. Do you believe in faith, Miss Highclass? Ah. Tuja. Sir. Right. Come as fast as I could, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Your mother will know when I need more stuff. All right. I think, yeah, thank you, sir. Who is that boy? I thought you said no one knew anything about this place. He's my angel Gabriel. I take care of him and his widowed mother. He'll never tell. What about the money in the tent? I mean, that's a lot of money. Where did you get it from? None of your business. You are just all and in all dangerous, are you not? I told you I'm an outlaw, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you are indeed. Good. It's so funny. Major Gyang and his boys are. For two hours now, I've been trying. Trying to get them, but. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh. Give me What could be happening? Tell me something. The situation is wrecking my nerve. It's wrecking my nerve. Two days. I've not seen my daughter. No 
will report. My dear. I must have been a stupid, shameless girl. But she was still my best friend. I had to kill her in cold blood. I had nothing to do with Aisha. You liar! I know that she probably was trying to expose you and I if you did not give in to her demands. And then you just had to kill her. God. I pray you hang for this. Now listen to me. I had nothing to do with Aisha's death. Okay? You can believe whatever you want. But the truth is that I did not kill Aisha. Yes, I did dislike her shameless guts. And she tried to blackmail me. But it had nothing to do with you and I. She actually eavesdropped on my discussion with the deputy governor's wife and found out gory details of my relationship with her. What? My God, I... Were you having an affair with the chemist's mom? Yes. Oh God. <laughs>
I hope you know I am not in any position to help pr prove your innocence. So there's absolutely no reason for you to lie to me. Trust me, Miss High Class. If a lie could get me out of this mess, I'll suggest to you to give me one. You haven't explained the knife. You always carried it around. All I can say is that the knife was safely lying in my room. But if you did not kill Aisha, then who did? Miss High Class, trust me, I doubt if I'll survive to find that out. Tell me about Her Excellency, Vivian. How is she? I mean, is she fantastic in bed? I'm sorry I don't discuss women. Really? Oh, okay. Let me see that. Industrial purchasing and supply. She must be learned. Tell me exactly, Ikenna, or should I say, Richard Amadi? Who are you? Trust me, Miss High Class. The less you know about me, the better for you. Fine. Get ready, we're leaving. To where? I promised I was going to take you somewhere safe. When it was safe, alright? Now I'm taking you somewhere to set you free so that you can contact your parents. I don't want to go anywhere. What? You heard me. I am not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Now listen to me. I know it was a very, very big mistake for me to have dragged you here knowing that you were going to slow me down. Besides, you don't need all this pain and stress I've caused you. You did not drag me all the way here simply because you needed a hostage. It was something stronger. Are you crazy? Yes, I'm crazy. And that's why I'm staying right here with you till the end. I don't care how it ends. Hey, 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 listen. If you think I have any out of feelings for you, you're making one big mistake because I don't. Oh, quite convincing. I mean, you've showed that to me in so many ways. Very many times. Now listen to me. I want you out of this forest now. No. Except you have to drag me. Very well then. <laughs> 
What's this? Why are you doing this? What's this? Why are you doing this? I don't know. What's the surprise? You haven't seen a lady cook before? The way you are going about this cooking, I'm sure we're just going to purge this night. Let me help you out. Don't worry. However it comes out, we'll eat it like that. Alright. Suit yourself. Ouch! Are you okay? I think I cut my finger. support it. Thank you. I guess I'll have to finish up with this then. No, 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 don't worry. I'll finish what I started. I'll be fine. Just go and sit down. All right. This is an open invitation. Yes. I love you. And why do you think you love me? I don't think. I know it. Then I ask why. I see through the meanness and the hardness. A very nice person. I saw it right from the first night. The way you took care of Aisha. You couldn't have possibly harmed her. I knew it. And now that I know the circumstances that made you an outlaw, I know you even better. You couldn't have harmed Aisha. You know we may never have a chance of a future together. And we certainly do not stand a chance with your parents. Not even if I come out of this in one piece. Somebody asked me if I believed in miracles. Not long ago. And yes. I do believe in miracles. With all my heart. And that's why I'm ready to gamble this till the end, no matter how it ends. Do you realize what you're about to lose in? The deputy governor's son and all the connections that come with it? Ken is a nice person, but he doesn't have the passion that I find with you. 
you set ablaze the fire that no other man can quench. I love you with all my heart. Tell me you don't love me. Love is the only risk that brought me to your father's home. Love is the only risk, love is life. Searching for remedy to heal my heart. Darkness all around me, it's the night. Hoping for a miracle to survive I see the jungle, I feel a tumble Every time I look at you I see the star Victim of circumstance, where's your stand? There have been human activities here. And not so long. And you think he's him? Yes. I can bet my life on that. Right. Then he won't be far. I believe so. Rogers or Rogers. Over. Rogers or Rogers. Over. Then let's move. Alright. You have to! Why? You cannot go with your firepower, please! No, you see what? I want to come with you, wherever you want to go. I want to come, I, I, I don't want to stay back. Please! Listen to me! Please! Listen, listen! I don't want you to get killed. Just go back to your father, please! No, please, I can't do it, okay? Let's just... Oh! Stay! 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 Hold it! At your service, sir. So, what about that scumbag? At the state security hospital, sir. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sure he's freezing dead by now in the mortuary. Not exactly, sir. He's still alive. He has been handed over to the SSS. Major, I made my order abundantly clear. My order was shoot to kill. Sir, I believe your daughter has some few explanations to give to you, sir. She almost got herself killed by deliberately throwing herself in my line of fire. Richard did not kill Aisha. He's not a murderer. He's innocent, Daddy. He's a good man. Trust me, he oh. is. Danny, please. Oh. Please don't mind what she's saying. I guess she's tired. She's really tired. That's why she's so incoherent. She doesn't know what she's saying. Oh. Baby, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm, you're, you're going to take a bath. You're fresh enough. You're tired. Oh. Okay? You're tired. Oh. This is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So, I must report back to Commandant, sir. Oh, Major, nevertheless, sir. Uh, I owe you one. Thank you, sir. Can I be left alone? Such a fool. 
Where is my badge? Safe, sir. It better be. I was even a bigger fool. Taking such a risk as allowing you to touch my badge. What were you thinking? What happened? What got into you? It was a simple instruction of gaining access into the deputy governor's lodge. Get her confessional statements and get yourself free. But you allow the emotions to run riot over her and the general's daughter. Now see the bigger match you find yourself. I didn't kill that girl, sir. Of course I do know that. You couldn't have been so stupid to do that. But you know what? Your fingerprint is littered all over the mother weapon, and there's nothing I can do about that. It's your mess. I perfectly understand, sir. I, I still can't understand how we got here. You were my best agent, trained in three of the world's most finest secret service institution. But a simple personal assignment as this, you messed up. I still can't figure that out. All because of what? You are in a deep shit. There's no way I can help you on this. I'm out. What has come over you? Tell me, Zina, what has come over you? I do not want to hear you speak stupidly ever again in this house. I didn't bring you up to become a lunatic. Oh, are you becoming one? Dad, I... I am not a lunatic. Dad, Richard is not a murderer. And I, I cannot solve my conscience by sending him to death. Shut up! What did he do to you in that forest? Did he defy you? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did he rape you? If anything had happened in the forest, then it would have been with my consent. Hey! My God, I don't believe I'm hearing this. He has certainly bewitched you. No. You will listen to me! Listen to me! Let me tell you. You are definitely going to testify against that bastard at his trial. And never ever let me hear you speak about that stupid feeling you think you have for that non-entity of a criminal. Nonsense. And you listen to And now you listen, Zainab. You will not embarrass this family. Do you hear me? You are going to see Ekene and to reassure him. So that does not start developing negative feelings. Am I talking to someone here? Are you hearing me? You are keeping quiet? There's certainly something wrong with you. <laughs> All right. I'm your mother, Zena. And I will not sit down and watch you make a terrible mistake in life. I won't. What do you see in that, in that criminal anyway? What does he have to offer you compared to what all the opportunities you have with Ekene? Tell me. Look. Ekene is one young man that most young ladies will give anything, anything, so that it becomes their fiance. He's handsome, he's intelligent, he has the right connections. And besides, make no mistake about it, his father, the deputy governor, is going to be the next governor of this state. Mommy, Ikene has never been in my heart. I've just been playing along with you and dad because I did not want to disappoint you. I was hoping that eventually things would change. And maybe it could work out or I would get to love him. But for me... But who says things cannot work out? Things can work out. That boy loves you. When he looks at you, we see the radiation in his eyes. He loves you. It can work out, mommy. 
the passion of my heart had already run away with another man. Why can't any of you understand? We can't understand. We can't understand what you see in that criminal. That's why they killed himself anyway by his own hands. And you better get it into your head. Don't be stupid, sign up. <sighs> Hello? Caller? Yeah, good day, General. Well, I hope you're calling me to tell me that the scumbag has died in your custody. That would be convenient for every one of us, wouldn't it, General? But unfortunately, the young man is still alive. Oh. So why the call then? I need to speak with your daughter in my office. My daughter? What for? Um, a few questions to prepare my case. Kola, are you the Attorney General? Oh, of course I'm not. But before I hand over my case file to the Justice Ministry, I need to be clear that we are only dealing with a murder case. Um, I'm coming there myself with her. Okay, um, all right, we shall be waiting. Thank you, sir. Ah, Zena. Just on time. Um, I just had a call from the SSS. They are on their way to pick you up for questioning. Dad! Uh, nothing to worry your pretty head about. Um, it's in our best interest. Okay. He never bothered to come check up on me. Why? I think you have the answer to that question. I don't understand. I was abducted. That doesn't mean anything to you. Perhaps the abduction never took place. You know what I think? You actually ran off with him. I saw the both of you in each other's arms that night at the party. Kiss him. You were willing, Zena. Oh, this is just a crazy accusation, Kenneth. You wanted him that night. <sighs> All those nights in the forest, just the two of you. Did you rest? Oh, have you come to prove your virginity to me? Let me see. Let's see. It. You are so crazy, let go of me. You are out of your mind.
and then you watched him go to jail. Did you do it or did you not do it? Mom! Mom! Good day, Your Excellency. Good day. What can I do for you? I'm afraid we have an unpleasant situation on our hands. Unpleasant situation? Is that a national security breach? Not at all. What was that? Here's the warrant for the arrest of your son. What? My son? My own son? Warrant of, of my... How? What do you mean of this? I, I can't understand. You can't my son! So what's going on here? What is going on here? You will do well not to obstruct the course of justice. Your Excellency, I know you would like to list into the city. You will find the part concerning your wife very interesting. I beg your pardon? Oh. Thank you, sir. Go with him. No, no, that, you, you're joking, right? You're coming, coming. So? Darling. Go out with them, my son. Let's go. Darling. I say we must obey. Don't touch. Ekene. Make no trouble. Go with him. Gentlemen. Please you know, take it easy on him. Easy. Please. I'll be there. Hmm? Take it easy on him, please. Darling. Do you know what we just did? Sit down. I'm also the lost. Sit down. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm listening to the city. I'm listening to the city. I've directed the agency's legal assistant to file an appeal on your behalf immediately. I've also contacted the Antony General's office with Vivian's confession. They have no intention to contest your appeal. In a matter of weeks, I expect your prison sentence to be reversed. I really appreciate it, sir. Get this clear, Richard. The only reason I stuck my neck out so dangerously for you is because I want my best hand back on the field as soon as possible. You also have to thank the general's daughter for doing your job for you. Thank you, sir. Just get work quick. so sure if uh, I was more upset with you or with myself. Oh yes, yes. The deceit wasn't meant to spite you, sir. I was only propelled by the raging desire I have for your daughter. Actually, you did expose me to one weakness that I never thought I had. That is, judging the character of a Kenyan badly. And here is one young man that I willfully swore to sacrifice everything to have him marry my daughter. Ah. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Zanab? Yes, Daddy. How are you? <laughs> and you? <laughs> you actually reminded me of this very powerful scripture that uh, I so often forget. And that is, the worth of a man does not lie in the content of what he has, but in the content of his character. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, yes. Um, Ike? Richard, sir. Uh, Richard? <laughs> Did you say you love her? With all my heart, sir. Oh, <laughs> I do believe you, I do. I do. 
uh, because uh, love is the only thing that can restrain you from uh, harming her after she innocently exposed you to such a grave danger. Oh yes. Um, with all things considered, my dear, I believe both of you will deserve my blessing. <laughs> oh, Daddy, thank you. Thank you, thank you so Daddy. Much. You're the best dad in this world. Thank you. And you know what? Yeah. I won't mind having an excellent cook for a son in law. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Daddy, I guess I should fix him something to eat. Without I'll be blame. back. Oh. I'll escort her. This is a Circumstance, where's your stance to leave or to die? Then take your chance. 